welcome back. We're gonna do a little bit of harvesting for the garden update today. And um, I have a pepper plant and a tomato plant I want to put in the ground as well. Um, since my seeds didn't take, I think I'm just gonna redump that back into the garden bed and put the tomato plant like right where the seedlings are sitting in their little dollar store greenhouses. Um, toma <laughs> tomatoes, potatoes are not ready to be harvested, but um, some of the lettuce is, and because those Katie dids came by and left their little um, eggs there, I found a couple of whatever their nymphs are. They look like little polka dot beetle -y type things. Um, so I'm going to cut all those leaves back till it's just the heart of the lettuce. Um, don't know, lettuce grows from the middle out. So the ones that are a tight ball right now, all the loose ones around the end, I'm going to take off and we'll eat those for dinner tonight. I'm also going to pick any peas that I find um, just to promote more pea growth. But they're looking a little rough, so um, the white flies really did some damage. But anyway, come on along. Okay, so I got a heat master. It's a heat tolerant tomato. And they do big ones. And he's so cute. And look, right in the middle, right there. There's already a bloom. And then I also got a mm, hot banana pepper plant. My husband wanted this, so we're gonna plant hot banana peppers. And then um, this, <laughs> slightly sad and embarrassing, but uh, it was a gift from one of my parents. It's just a flowering thing. I need to get it in the ground. I'm not sure what it is and get it watered. So I'm going to plant that somewhere too. Um, okay. I had already started picking the lettuce, but look at that. Um, so I wanted to show, I'm just taking any of the leaves that are sort of on the outside. This is the one that I had, put that in the green waste. This is the one I had trimmed just straight across and see how the leaves are coming out the middle. That's kind of the goal. That's what I want to happen for all of them. Um, so we'll get to picking some lettuce and then I'll wash this really, really good and pick out any bits that aren't looking so tasty. So like, look at that. That's all dried up. <sighs> see in my lettuce. Oh, there's a bee by my head. Ah, get away from me. I don't want you with me. Go, get. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> by bee, I meant yellow jacket. They can be fiercer on her. Jesus. <sighs> He's freaking following me. You know, you think you're cut out for gardening and you come across one stingy, bitey thing and you freak out. Anyway, <laughs> back to harvesting. <laughs> I just threw that. Anyway. <sighs> I'm thinking, let's see, let's grab that one there. That looks pretty good. Now my turnips are flowering. I haven't looked that up yet. Maybe I'll Google that when I go back inside. All right, let's look for peas. Ooh, there's one.
Growing your own food stuff is hard. But they say the more peas you pick, the more that will go. Um, so look at, these are all gonna be peas. And these, look how sweet they are when they just start out. So cute. So anyway, I picked any of the ones that were like inch big, inch and a half big. So hopefully the pea plants will start sending out more. Oh, see, like that one can come off. But yeah, look at that. What is, what happened to that? Uh, I don't even know. So that's the peas. The broccolis are being eaten alive. By something. I don't know. Potatoes are looking like they're almost ready to harvest. We'll dig them up soon. My Swiss shards are being eaten. Like, look at that one. Look at that. What the heck happened? Mm. This one can't eat that. Can't eat that. Feels rather disappointing that they're eating all my stuff. Because I'm the one who's supposed to be eating it. That's it. It's really hot today. It's like 88 degrees out. The ladybugs are out. I want them to come down here and eat this. Come over here, ladybugs. Free food, free food. Come to my garden. <laughs> Maybe they can eat aphids. <laughs> well, gotta get on the old goggler and figure out what to do. Let's plant the tomato and the pepper plant. I'm gonna put them over here, I think. Wish me luck.
when pulled off all the leaves that were brown and dying off that Swiss shard. Trying to soak them up like you're supposed to or whatever. I don't know if I'm supposed to. But I'm gonna. It's just so disappointing. bolted it's been too hot for turnips I gotta wait that's what I found out I need to look up to like cabbage is it gonna make like a head of cabbage or do we eat like the leaves as they grow this is my next order of business anyway I watered everything there's a tomato plant there's the pepper plant there's the half dead flower thing don't know what it is um, like I said, it sat on my mantle and I looked up and I was like, uh-oh. Alright. Those can live there. Gardening. Done. washed all that really good and we'll bring that up well anyway that's the garden update <laughs> fighting off pests continues <laughs> learning the hard way continues um, like I said I pulled out the turnips because I looked it up if there's too many hot days in a row they bolt I guess they're more of a cool weather type thing perhaps I can grow them over the winter time instead when it's cooler. Um, got the tomato plant and the pepper plant in. And I wanna look up more about cabbages. I think that'll be my homework this week. Am I supposed to prune back the outer leaves? Like, how are you supposed to do that? I've had a rough first few days of my week. Um, a lot of disappointment I guess <laughs> you know when you reopen the door to a relationship whether it be a friend or family in my case it's family and you try that one more time and it's not an awful time but you just walk away going they don't know me and don't wish to 
that was what happened this weekend for me and I'm sad and then my garden of course <laughs> but a lot of that is just me flying by the seat of my pants and not looking ahead and not researching what I'm planting so anyhow I pulled a bunch of the Swiss chard out because it was beyond repair due to the white flies. I pulled out the turnips because they bolted. Um, I harvested all that lettuce and whatever the peas were, but look at this. Where's the example? I'm still gonna eat it. <laughs> but I need to look up what's happening to them. Um, we've also had really humid days. I mean, granted that's not completely abnormal, but people do a good job planting in the South all the time and it's extra humid there. So I'm not really sure what's going on. I need to do some research. Um, Anyway, I watered everything really, really good. I hope my tomato plant lives. Hope the pepper plant lives. This is such a challenge. Anyway, this is a rambly goodbye, but thank you so much for watching. Um, this is garden update 11, I think. Might be 12, I can't remember. I film them in advance, in advance obviously, because I have to edit and everything. But um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.